picket lines and picket signs Don't punish me with brutality Talk to me so you can see Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Okay, so the breaking news for the moment is that the officer accused in the chokehold death of Eric Garner in New York City is not going to be indicted. NYPD cop not indicted for Eric Garner's chokehold death that Eric Garner, who did very little wrong, if anything wrong, I mean, this very minor crime, wound up dying. And it ought to have been an indictment for some form of, uh, of manslaughter. It's not first degree murder, it's not second degree murder, but it's certainly reckless manslaughter because of the excessive use of deadly force on a person who posed no serious or material threat to the police. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. Something is not right here. Uh, you know, they say bad things happen in threes. Police shot a 12-year-old boy over a BB gun. They shot him. A little black boy. One of our officers fired two shots, striking the uh, striking the young man. The 12-year-old boy? Yes. Apparently, the boy did not point the gun at officers. Did he threaten the officers? No. He didn't threaten officers at all there, with the there, gun? There was no, no, there was no no verbal or no, uh, no confrontation. An innocent person died, you know what I mean? or someone that should not have died, even if he had done something criminal, someone that should not have been murdered, died. Let's stop playing games with people's lives, all right? This thing is serious. Put the gun down, put it down, down! Good! Every case of police brutality against a Negro follows the same pattern. They attack you. Right. Bust you all upside your mouth right. and then take you to court and charge you with assault. Right. What kind of democracy is that? You got three prominent cases. Yeah, what's the other? Please? Please. Well, you got, you, you see, New York is not Trayvon Mark. Yeah. You got Trayvon Mark. Police. That's just, yeah, so that's what job of Yeah, yeah. but yeah, you can see your little boy, please. Well, he's playing with the boy. It's, it's, like, uh, it's, it's a case of security is a, a force it's law that's law 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 of law enforcement. But Zimmerman was just kind of acting on his own. It's like you nominate yourself to fucking pay on 106th Street. Exactly. And, but my point is, you have too many of these cases. See, I'm never going to condone the Michael Brown shit. Never. Because the Michael Brown shit, I don't care who I offend, you got, that's this nigga, Fajo behavior, and we want to condone it and protest and come to his rescue when you're not looking at the root of the problem. The root of the problem is, I can't go in a store and, and take what I want, slap the on, slap the on, and then... Go on about your business. I can't do that. We can't do that. Never could. Seeing what the perm and Jackson Jackass and people like that are not saying is they're not telling you the full story. No, it's not the full story. It's they're not, they don't want to blame the parents. What did Michael See, Brown's parents teach him? Hey man, right man. Hey, it's a nigga. We saw him in the way. It's <laughs> Everybody sees things through their own eyes. The cops see it through their eyes. The minorities see it through their eyes. The media sees it. What we need is the evidence. Right. We need the truth. What did you say, nigga? Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? You know you done fucked up, right? No! I see what I'm saying. I, no, I... I thought... No, so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? Pulled into the garage <laughs> no, no, and... No, no. You know you done fucked up, right? No. no so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now. You know that, don't you? <laughs> you done fucked up now!
just may not be what the people see. What kind of social or political system is it when a black man has no voice in court? We've not seen uh, this type of heavy-handed military-style policing. It's very true, and it's troubling, particularly for those of us who remember the, the days of the segregated South when people like Martin Luther King Jr. and so many others marched under these same kinds of conditions so that we would not have to, 50 years later, fight along racial and, 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 and those kinds of lines. I've been trying to figure out a way to sum it up so you understand it. When I see a cop car, I don't feel safe as a black man. When I see a cop car, I get scared. When the lights go out and I go out in the street and I get behind the wheel of my car, the most dangerous moment I ever have in my life is when a police officer pulls me over. Every black man in America knows that when that happens, there's actually a possibility his life may come to an end. Has he your license, please? Get out of the car! Get out! Yeah, that driver, you can hear him there saying, I was doing what you told me to do. I was getting my license. I'm away. I'm, I'm right here. Officer, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Why you got to point a gun at me? Get all the way down. Why you got to point a gun at me? We have no weapons. We have no weapons. We have no weapons. We're not a threat to you. Why do you have the gun pointed at me? I am not a threat. I got out of the car. I surrendered to you. Right here, and you're pointing a gun at me. You're pointing a gun at me. A developing story tonight, new cell phone video shows a Sacramento police officer repeatedly hitting with a baton a man while other officers hold that man down. The man later died. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit, he is the Freeway takedown. Drivers stunned as a CHP officer repeatedly punches a woman and now an investigation is underway. He just pulled me brutally threw me down, started beating me, banging me, trying to kill me, trying to beat me to death, t take my life away. For no reason, I did nothing to him. Sit on the curb. Sit down on the curb. I'm not going to tell you again. Sit down on the curb. And what are you doing? Don't be grabbing on me. I just asked You're going to get tased if you don't sit down. I ain't getting to you. I'll get you, bitch. The man being thrown on the hood of the car is 18-year-old Cornelius Gill. I guess he got aggravated or anything with me, but he just slammed me on top of the car and just yanking on me. I don't have a warrant for my arrest. What I do last night? He didn't. He didn't yeah. spray them, maced them, tased them. He just pulled up on us, jumped out the car and maced them. Get on your ass. He's laying down. He's steady macing him. Got the tase out and shit. You gotta be taking this. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Go over now. 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 Go over now.
Two police officers are now on desk duty following the death of a Staten Island man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. My brothers and sisters, we have to put a stop to this. And it will never be stopped until we stop it ourselves. This is American justice. This is American democracy. And those of you who are familiar with it know that in America, democracy is hypocrisy. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live. So with the with brutality, the pr pr police brutality, <laughs> Missouri, <laughs> Ferguson, Missouri, uh, New York, Eric Gardner, is it a, a increase is in increase in intolerable intolerable police officers, intolerable African Americans, or a combination of both that's being rebellious? It depends the on the situation. All this stuff to light. People acting silly. And the cops on edge. Like you said, that cop will work in the morning, he wanna do his job, he wanna go home. Don't give him no reason to be on edge. He tell you to do something, do it. It, it depends, depends on the go. situation. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Now if you want me to elaborate, I will. But it yeah. depends well, on the situation. Elaborate. Which means the, elaborate. <laughs> the, the situation yeah. like an Eric Garner. Eric Garner, it falls on the cops lap. This excessive force. Now, what he was doing was wrong. And once again, I, I have to say that you have to teach your kids better not to have to res resort to these illegal street dealings. Because well, in terms of blue squares? Yeah, in terms yeah. of blue squares. That's, yeah. If it's illegal, it's illegal. Now, I mean, you have to be within the limits of the law or you can get subjected to, to that to this that type of stuff yeah. because the 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 root of the cause is the police wouldn't have had anything to say to him if he wasn't selling loose cigarettes right. that's the root of it i think that's one of them between him and the police somebody should have enough sense to stand down because it's a misdemeanor okay. it wasn't like you murdered somebody right. and you was fighting for your life you was gonna go to the station, you was gonna get fingerprinted, you was gonna get an eye you was gonna be going home. But that's why. So either the cop should have said, you know what, we know who you are, we just do a warrant for you, or he should have said, you know what, it's a misdemeanor arrest, it's five on one, let me just give up and get this shit over. And my thing is, that's why I say it falls on the cops. Now, it wasn't like he had a pistol and was waving around like, fuck the police, I'm gonna shoot all of y'all. That's where the cops, like Margie said, should have used better discretion and just, you know, it's a misdemeanor. It wasn't a felony. He wasn't harming anybody, but he's just cheating to stay on tax record. Right. That's it. Exactly. That's why Allegedly. Do I think that the proliferation of police uh, uh, brutality is on the rise? No. I think it's going to come to light more just because of the way the world is now. The world's more connected than it's ever been. Do I think black people are acting out more? Yeah, because I don't think, I think the black home is completely disintegrated. You know, you got one chick with a link card and a section eight voucher sleeping with three or four different dudes with five kids, five, six. You know, so how can you, that's how, bad, yeah. how can you, 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 how can you, you, you raise your kids properly when you wasn't raised properly, basically, you got all the crack babies from the 80s when crack kids Chicago having kids, and now they kids out there running rough shot because they were too busy doing whatever it was they wanted to do instead of raising their kids. 
and they care to interact with the police more than ever because the truth be told, the police are less proactive now than they ever have been because of shit like this. Because at the end I, of the day, there you go. at the end of the day, yeah. it's all about coming home to your right. family and getting a pension. That's right. Because most of the cops that everybody screaming are racist and they did this and they did that, they don't live in these neighborhoods no way. So if this neighborhood, we're in the hundreds. If the hundreds burn to the ground, yeah. all the white guys living on Greenwood, they don't give a shit. This, this place could, a nuclear bomb could hit the hundreds and it could be uninhabitable. It's not going to affect the people in Mount Greenwood. It ain't going to affect the people in Canaryville. It ain't going to affect the people in Greenwood. Handcuffing the law or getting, putting too much red tape for them to police means less policing. I see it like this. All life is important. It don't matter whether you're black, you white, you brown, you yellow, you red, whatever, whatever color you are. But when we latch on to Oh, he's black, he got killed by a white person. It's automatically racist. No, maybe not. Maybe the guy that got killed was just a fucking asshole. Or the same people that jump up, the Jesse Jacksons and the Al Sharpens of the world, that jump up and will say that white man had no business killing a black man. When a black person kills a white person, they silent, they absent, they're nowhere to be found. And to take it a step farther, you have black people that will co-sign the actions of a black person to the high heavens. He shot 30 people, but he black, so I got a co-sign. With him and the other soldiers. That's a lot of crap. No, no, brother, you have your job. That's a lot of crap. Brother, and I got brother, no, I got it. Hell no, I got it. Oh, hell no. I got it. You do have a certain percentage of cops that are out here now that rather fuck with you and I then pull over one of these mop head niggas. Oh, indeed. I agree with that because 1,000%. Because they know that mop head niggas, they are a threat to their life. Oh, hard Because they don't, they don't, they don't, they, the mop head nigga don't give a fuck. That's where I'm going. Do you have a problem with that, officer? <laughs> Again with the questions. What is this, Jeopardy? No, it ain't Jeopardy. It ain't Monopoly either. And I ain't going to jail. Freeze! Freeze! Goddamn, you all sound like a set of bookends, man. Lean back. I know why you stopped me. I know why. Because I'm a poor black man in a black neighborhood, on a black block, and y'all just want to bust my black ass. No, no. You look suspicious. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah, you look suspicious and you definitely look black. Turn around. It's like the last time they tried to break in here. I, I told the cops what I have a problem with is you, you'll see cops, like an example, one o'clock in the morning going up and down the block looking for city stickers and license plate stickers. But you got these motherfuckers climbing through your window. To, now to me, what's more important? I have a problem with that. Or I have a problem with the police officer that'll roll up on a Mr. Fuqua. He's in his driveway washing his truck. I don't know where you get this truck from. How you buy this? This somebody that worked and retired from a job and this is how you approach him? That's a problem, man. But when you got this motherfucker with this dollar store mop on his head, and you won't you you won't say nothing to him, they rape and pillage whatever little community we have, and now you won't say you're afraid to say something to him because you know this nigga has no regard for your life, and he will shoot at you or shoot to kill you. Mm -hmm. That's the part the police officers I have a problem with because you need to be tougher on them than the pillars, if you will, of a community like this. I came here feeling sorry for you because you were attacked by criminals. Hi, niggas, man. You can't have shit when you're around niggas. 
Get down. Oh. Oh my God. Right, we end up with a bunch of little boys running around with female hormones. We got a bunch of little boys that mothers have, 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 a woman can't teach you how to be a man. So we got these little boys running around with all the emotions of a female, and instead of acting logically, they go out and act on emotions for five or ten seconds of gratification and a lifetime of heartbreak. That's all we ended up with. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna say it like this. No, a lot of bitch ass. Hold on, a lot of, a lot of these niggas, these bitches too. They, 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 they act like, let's call it. I'm gonna act like a bitch. You like, man, bitch. That's, that's where the term bitch ass nigga come from. And tell the truth. Yeah. Tell the goddamn truth. So if you're wondering why we looking at you funny, it's because. Some of you niggas are bitches too. Yo, lad, you know why they be funny? I'm gonna tell you why, cuz. Some of you niggas are bitches too. You act like you can fight, but when it's a real fight, you find out that. Some of you niggas are bitches too. You're quite hostile. I got a right to be hostile, man. My people been persecuted. One of the things we have to resolve, resign ourselves in America today to deal with is we still have unresolved issues when it comes to race and race relations. 20 years ago, the O.J. Simpson murder trial seemingly divided the nation along racial lines. Now in the wake of the shooting of an unarmed black teenager by a white cop, protests and riots in Ferguson, Missouri are exposing how fragile and volatile race relations remain in America. We have a racial uh, issue in this country. Uh, we've always had a racial issue in this country. And the biggest problem with it is we never discuss race until something bad happens. But what happens is everybody, that, uh, when something bad happens, everybody has a tribe mentality. Everybody want to protect their own tribe, whether they're right or wrong. And that is, that is essentially the black experience. <laughs> You're always black. There's always going to kind of be an overreaction one way or the other <laughs> regarding your presence. Be it good or bad. Well, race relations changed in this country after the O.J. Simpson trial. Because what it proved is we can no longer our system that we put in place that used to work, it doesn't work anymore because niggas now can buy court justice. They have the power and they even have the celebrity due to our system to get off. And that happened never before OJ Simpson, but it hasn't happened since. They sent niggas to jail now for killing dogs, let alone white ones. Think about that. But then the Quarterback in Pittsburgh then got charged with rape twice and got him. Three times, I think. It was twice. It was twice. But they don't give a fuck about us. And who Look at all the events in in I'll go from 1960 on. These are the same people, the same government. They've turned water hoses and sick German shepherds on. They killed one of their own because he wanted change. Not only him, but his brother. They exterminated all our black leaders in that decade. Mega Evans, Malcolm X, Dr. King. They, they killed so many I can't even name them. But then you go on, you can bring it up to modern times. They intentionally flood New Orleans. Cause they broke that left. Conspiracy theory. Say what? It's proven fact. US Army engineers broke that left and flooded that area because it was all black. And then what did they call the people? that were residents of refugees. the city. They called you them refugees. You can be an American citizen. How can an American, American citizen be a refugee? How? The textbook definition says They refugees. don't give a fuck about us, man. Someone who is seeking refuge. So Kanye is kind of right, huh? Someone who's seeking refuge. That's what I want to say with Kanye's dick. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Well, what he said was, George Bush doesn't care about black people. That's because he's a racist. 
And I didn't appreciate it then, and I don't, I don't appreciate it now. Good Why would he do that? He's a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> they show you this, and it's not through, oh, yeah, he called so-and-so a nigga. See, that's the overt part of it. But what they're doing to Bill Cosby, that's what I'm talking about. It, it's cerebral now. Therefore, I believe in white supremacy. To take Tiger on, well, yeah, maybe they should just gang up for a while until... <laughs> Lynch him what, in the back alley. Yeah, that's right. And then... <laughs> oh, some rough girls from Rutgers, man. They got tattoos and some hardcore hoes. That's, that's some nappy-headed hoes there. I'm going to take that down. Not a black male, not a Chinese male with his eyes like this. But Hispanics can't carry the whole load. The rest of you get busy. Make babies. Well, Ed, is it one of these matters where the, the Kenyans and Ethiopians... They see, uh, let's, 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 let's be honest here, see a white guy out front, they don't take him seriously. What is Phnom Penh? No, what is New Delhi? New Delhi. Yeah, it hurts to miss that one. Interested in trading with Al-Qaeda, all they want to trade is burqas. <laughs> I don't want to travel with them, they like one-way tickets. China, it's like, Ching Chong, Kudan, Ching Chong, Ching Chong, Danny DeVito, Ching Chong, 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 Gronk, The View, Ching Chong. Kind of, let's stun a second, well, well, well then, get away from the door, nigga. Well now, children, tonight old Uncle Tom want to tell you the real true story. Don't beat me, Massa! Please don't beat me, Massa! Don't beat that tired old body! No! No! Grab me, Mama, with a boo hoo hoo gibby! What is it about black people that you don't like? This ought to be good. Yeah. But uh, I don't like him on the fact that he's black. Absolutely not. David? Please, please, please. And I knew this was going to come. Please, do I don't like him because he's black. 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 Nigga, please. Nigga, please. Nigga, please. Nigga, please. Oh, nigga, please. Nigga, please. Let's check it out. Check what out? Yo, check this out. Yo, microphone check. One, two, what is this? What heights you climb, you're a nigga. They prove it to you. you. If I don't know what I'm talking about, ask Bill Cosby. He knows what he is right about now, don't he? He knows he's a nigga. I don't know. More than a nigga. He's a nigga. He's a rapist nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's not see, it's not funny. And I'm not I'm telling you it's not funny. Uh, no, 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 because no. it's the truth. They proved to OJ Simpson what he was. Speak, let me ask you this. Since you brought up Bill Cosby. By Bill Cosby having a platform, by Bill Cosby being a respected person, having come through civil rights movements in that era. This is just hypothetical. This is me wearing a tinfoil hat. Do you think somebody went out and said, man, Bill Cosby might enlighten these folks and actually make them start thinking? Let me throw a little curveball in the game. Conspiracy theory. Say what? Bill Rich, you did. Yeah, Bill Rich. Here, here's a couple hundred thousand. Bill raped you too. Bill raped you. Bill raped you. Because now Bill Cosby has been completely discredited. Look, the shakedown, celebrities get shut down. That's that's true. They happen. Shake down 13 times. You need a little far fetched. That's a little difficult. Hey, I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, <laughs> it was, Mark, I hear celebrities what you're people want their money. I hear what they you're saying. They you know I'm never against the quote unquote conspiracy theory. Yeah. I'm never against that. But But you're right, they did remind Bill Cosby, no matter what you say, no matter how much money you get, if this there is was your one, set. two, I go up even five. The shake down question. You might have put every day. This this is like you going to take a piss. I can go take a piss and somebody else gonna say, yeah, he eats and drugs and fucking too. It is ridiculous. So they let you know once again, every top celebrity in their career, oh, and this man. has happened within our lifetime, yeah. they let you know that you're a nigga. Ask Michael Jordan. They showed him what he was in 93. They showed you. You think you dope, you're a nigga, and we can ruin you anytime we want. That's not my opinion. OJ Simpson clowned and danced the modern jig in the movies. 
Hertz, Hertz, uh, rental car Hertz commercial. commercials, and still getting still. He, he, when he murdered his wife, they showed him, you're a nigga. I don't think we need new laws. I don't think we need reparations. I just think white America needs to stop putting forth this toxic idea that racism is over. This is, this is just insane to me. Why do we never hear about the white on white violence problem, but we always hear about black on black in spite of the fact that statistically it's bogus. And another statistic you won't really hear is uh, how many white people you know, what percentage of white people are living in a certain neighborhood where white on white violence might be occurring. But what you will hear is about how many black people live in a certain neighborhood uh, when black on black violence is occurring. You know what that means, America? That more white people commit more crimes. And actually 84% of the white people that kill white people kill white people. We don't talk about, we don't talk about white on white crime in the news though. We keep using this rhetoric of black on black crime as if Something is defective with black people. Yes, the involvement of violence in black folks uh, comes from that long history that the president was talking about that um, you, you, we have to remember that we learn from some of the best. So the violence that is in America has come from a very learned position that was brought here by some Caucasian folks. All right? Black people have been robbed, as I said earlier, of a knowledge of self. And when you rob people, sir, of a knowledge of self, then it means that they, be, they start to take on the characteristics and the nature of their oppressor and their colonizer. They could blame anything on us and everybody ready to believe it. Black on black crime. Huh? What is black on black crime? Black, I'm just tired of black folk killing black folk. Who you think killing Chinese and Chinese today, China today? <laughs> if we go to Italy tomorrow, who you think killing Italians in Italy? And if 98% of all the white folks that was murdered last year was murdered by white folks, if y'all ain't talking about white on white crime, how they trick us to talk about black on black crime? You kill where you live. Hmm? And so somewhere when you stop and think about all of the tricks and all of the stuff, and they put all this together, and that's how they run past you. How many times have I told you you better not even dream about telling white folks the truth? You understand me? Shoot, you better learn how to lie like me. I'm gonna find me a white man and lie to him right now. Why do we have to fight so much? If we have a problem, why can't we just talk it through? Take the meanest, most restless nigger. Strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male niggers, female niggers, and nigger infants. Tar and feather him. Tie each leg to a horse facing in opposite direction, set him on fire, and beat both horses until they tear him apart in front of the male, female, and nigger infants. Bull whip and beat the remaining nigger males within an inch of their life. Do not kill them, but put the fear of God in them for they can be useful for future breeding. Anybody know who Willie Lynch was? Anybody? Raise your hand. No one? He was a vicious slave owner in the West Indies. With that, I guess it's appropriate to segue into this question, the Willie Lynch syndrome. It's what? Still Elaborate. Man. Shit. Just keep it black man. No, yeah, no that letter, man, they don't really know if that letter was broke by our brother. I mean, they, no, I'll take that back. They don't really <laughs> know if brother. that is a real letter. That could have... There's yeah. doubt that that letter, it was actually written by a white guy. Uh, yeah, it? white slave. Right, oh, no. But they saying it, we, they not sure if that's an actual letter written by a white guy. By Willie? Yeah, it couldn't have been because his name is Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Lynch. But oh, Will he Lynch? Yeah. He will Lynch. But is the the syndrome <laughs> is the syndrome in effect? Yeah, is is, 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 is the syndrome yeah. ever more prevalent today as it was back then? Yeah, that's yeah, hard to yeah, judge. Yeah, it's, it's more mental now. It's not, it's not more physical, it's more mental, meaning that's hard to judge. What the guy said, 90, 80% of the, the uh, crimes against African-Americans are done by African-Americans. Yeah. So, 93%. Well, 93%, meaning is white folks don't have to do this shit. It's already in play. They're doing kill, they killing themselves. But the thing about it is that's always been the case. But the, the, the difference of, of today is it's not over. It's 
just not out in the open. The games that the Caucasian play with us now is all cerebral. Yeah. It's mental. Yeah, it's all mental. And we're not smart enough to see it. The younger folks. No, all of us. Because there's many of us that's in our age group that is entrenched in niggas. They're, they're not. They're part they're of active participants in it. Yeah, they're entrenched in it, like I said. So therefore, it's a thing of where. Oh, say what, man? They're entrenched. There's many people in our age group that are entrenched in niggas. Okay. They embrace this nigger behavior. Like Mark said. Bottom line, they love it. They love it. Uh, nobody's doubting that. But when it comes to this Willie Lynch thing, everything that's within the letter, you still see it. It's ever prevalent. You still got people running around here talking about good hair. In, light in skin, light skin, dark skin. They're talking, they're talking about, about good hair and yeah. bad hair. Yeah. Light skin, dark light skin. Light skin, dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Then you still have, it's once again, what this brother talked about going to court. You have a mother that by any means necessary goes to court. Her the son is toting a pistol. Right, defends that no Points it at a police court. officer, but then defends him no end. Right. Right, no end. His so no within ass. that letter, what does that letter say? The letter says, if you separate the Negro male child and leave him with the mother, but send the daddy off somewhere else, what it does is it keeps the nigger male child strong Physically, but weak mentally. And that's what these children are. Thinking that, and what does the mother do? Stands I'll out in front to go. protect him Come. by all costs. So then, what do we have running around out here? We have a subculture that absolutely glorifies violence. So when you glorify violence, what do young boys want? They want attention from these young girls. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna be the biggest gangster on the block. What's the word? I got a problem because he stepped on my Jordan. So I'm gonna shoot him and get him up out of here. Now I look like a celebrity in the neighborhood because my culture glorifies violence and I've committed the ultimate act of violence, murder. Our children are dying out here. And once again, you're talking about parenting. Now I know you cannot hold your child's hand once they go out in the world, especially when they get to a certain age. But like in the case of Hadia Pendleton, it was a, a shame that that girl died. You know, this senseless gunfire. But as a parent, you got to teach your daughters. You can't run with these niggas. 45th Street boy. Doing the, this dumb nigga shit. Because once again, you'll lose your life. And it's running with Joe Blow Mop Head because he's the it nigga. Is that worth losing your life for? That's that's what we have to teach our kids. Now I bet you niggas do think y'all white. College don't mean shit. Y'all niggas, and you gonna be niggas forever, just like us, niggas. You're not niggas. Niggas love to keep it real. Real. God damn right. Sons of bitches. You have to read the history of slavery to understand this. There were two kinds of Negroes. There was that old house Negro and the field Negro. And the house Negro always looked out for his master. When the field Negroes got too much out of line, he held them back in check. Many of these uh, compromising Negroes who say exactly what the white man wants to hear is interviewed anywhere in the country. You don't get anybody to offset what they say. But whenever a black man stands up and says something that white people don't like, then the first thing that white man does is run around to try and find somebody to say something to, to uh, offset what has just been said. This is natural. You pick your person, any black person, who says something that is not prescribed, things that they expect from a black person will be picked apart. The coons are coming. Black on black crime. 
Where the white women at? All white people ain't bad. We is our own worst enemy. What about black on black crime? What train is this? This is the Coon Train. The Coon Train, what does this lead to? This is where guys go to get their pats on the head from racist individuals in the dominant society. You have to be willing to attack black people and make those who are racist feel good about themselves. You have to be willing to coon on television. Do these guys feel any remorse for what they do? How can you sleep at night knowing that you attack your own people like that? We give them nigger trinkets my friend, you know, shoes, a handshake, a barbecue tripe sandwich with onions, anything to make them happy. Black people are under attack, and these coons don't defend you, but they will align themselves with those who attack you. Don't worry, when we are done with these niggers, we will give them back to you when we find no use for them. It's up to you if you will take them back with open arms. Well, I, I believe it is time that uh, we have to start standing up and challenging the president. How are you feeling this morning about your community? It's, but what I want to say this. President Obama's not going to do it. Al Sharpton's not going to do it. NAACP is not going to do it. Or no other activist or civil rights leader. I want to apologize to America for our behavior as black people. That's first and foremost. I want to apologize to America for our idiotic behavior at this point. We spend a lot of money on health care, twice as much per capita as anybody else in the world, and yet not very efficient. I mean, you're going to get a lot of flack for saying you're not African American. You know that, right? I don't label myself. Okay. Follow the antics of America's favorite jigaboo, Cleophas, as he deals with the challenge of freedom on That's My Boy, weeknights at 6.30. That's just me, boss. That's my boy. I think the main problem of most Negroes is that they feel sorry for themselves, and I think that this keeps them back uh, much more than they would be if they didn't feel so sorry for themselves. Shut your mouth and your fat ass, boy. Know your damn role. And shut your damn mouth! Ain't it funny how even the worst of heathens try to get righteous? So instead of legislation, in my opinion, it takes education. And our people have to be re-educated uh, so that we will know how to do something for ourselves instead of waiting for others to do it for us all the time. What's the solution? Like, like you know, Generation X, we got it. We know the right from our wrong and stuff like that. But what's the solution overall, universally, for us? Now I'm telling you, blacks, family, once these families can get together and remain right. together. Nuclear family. I'm going to get to that. But when you see woman and man uh, getting together, staying together, low uh, divorce rates, right. and, you know, out of, out of wedlock children, that number goes down, that's a sign that people are turning the corner. Because with that family, when that family is solid, you'll, you'll see less bullshit. It's turning the corner though, near. Yeah, or father yeah, near it's near. near. The solution is... The revolution. No, the solution is we have to teach our youth better overall just in overall life skills of how to be the most productive human being you can possibly be you can't be out here on this bullshit this Tupac generation of quote-unquote thug life has led a whole generation astray thug being the new word for nigga because right. white folks are using the word thug as nigga now yeah. so they have led the whole a whole generation astray of this behavior, thinking that this is the way of life. And our our youth, and then sometimes it's not even black males, because when people like uh, the Hadia Pendletons of the world get gunned down yeah, in in the name of nigger, 
it's a problem. Our youth is being extinguished because we're not teaching our children right. Teach from within. Teach. And how do we do that? Young Simpson or young, you know, oh, teach man. your family whatever civic, uh, I don't know, interest or whatever that, that you feel is needed. But there's a political angle too that you don't sing like you yeah, don't really give a fuck about. But that's okay. That, that's fine. I think a both will have an impact. You start from within. Teaching from within? Teaching your family, teaching children right from wrong and disciplining them to be productive later on in life. But how that goes a long way. But how but you can also teach, you can also teach, or as an adult, you can also say, I'm a vote. I'm going to just pay attention to what's going on in my community. And, you know, that's that's another angle. Politically, but haven't we done that? You got it's one, nothing two, that you three, can let four, up. Five, six, you have six black males that, hold on, Corey, we've got six black males in this room that are products of being taught well. Now, do we agree? Everybody yeah, in here agrees. Yeah, yeah. Now, we are, now, my next question is, by being taught well, we are also ridiculed not by not by society and not by this ghost white man that we like to blame things on we are ridiculed by our own kind for being who we are but again that's because you're not part of the subculture exactly and you're not active exactly so this idea to answer the brother's question we need to get off of the tit because if history has proven anything to us they don't give a fuck about us Keep on walking tall. Hold your head up said that the revolution would not be televised, we were saying that like, that, that, that the thing that's going to change people is something that no one will ever be able to capture on film. It'll just be something that you see and all of a sudden you realize, I'm on the wrong page. Or I'm on the right page, but I'm on the wrong note. And I've got to get in sync with everyone else to understand what's happening in this country. Mm -hmm. But I think that the black Americans have been the, the, the only real diehard Americans here because we, we're the only ones who, who've carried the process through the process that everyone else has sort of like skipped stages. We're the ones who marched, we're the ones who carried the Bible, we're the ones who carried the flag, we're the ones who tried to go through the courts. And, 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 and being born American didn't, didn't seem to matter because we were born Americans, but we still had to fight for what we were looking for. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live.